Hello, my name is Jeff Wynn, and I am the coordinator for the .raz project on CodeFlex.com. This video will demonstrate how to create a new entry, add it to a phone book, and then dial that new entry. So let's get started. First, we're going to create a new project for our demo here, which we're going to call .raz demo. And you can see that I have all the .raz components already listed in my toolbox. So I'm going to take a RAS phone book and then drop that on my form. Now I'm also going to need a new button here to create the entry we'll be using for this demonstration, which I'm going to call Create Entry, and then rename that new button as well, Create Entry Button. Now in our button, we're going to first have to open up the phone book we're going to be working with, Open. Now the open method without any arguments will always open up the all users profile phone book. If you wish to specify the current users phone book, you can specify true here. Or if you have a custom phone book you actually want to open up yourself in a custom location, you can specify the full path. Now we need to create the new entry we'll be using, so RAS entry. Entry equals RAS entry dot create VPN entry. You don't have to use these static methods I've exposed here if you don't want to. You can create the entry manually. However, these methods do contain default information set by Windows uh, for each different platform. So we'll call our new entry VPN connection. And I'm going to specify the loopback address for this example. Use the default RAS device, RAS VPN strategy. And we're going to use the uh, RAS device dot get device by name, which I'm going to specify the PPTP device for this. And it is a VPN device type. Now I also need to turn off exact matching since I have not specified the full uh, device name, so false. And now I need to add that entry to my phone book. Entries add entry. Now with that out of the way, we need to go back to our form and add a, draw, add a dialer to the form. Now since the dialer is a multi-threaded object, you will need to synchronize the events that are raised by the object, which this synchronizing object will do that for you. I'm going to set that to my form one instance and also add another button to my form, which we'll use to dial the connection. I'm going to call it dial, and also rename the button to dial button. Now in the dial button, we need to start off by setting the entry name for the dialer to use, which in this case is VPN connection. Now you can also specify the phone book path here. However, since the default, since the phone book we're using is a default phone book, I can simply leave it null. And I'm going to call it asynchronous, like I said earlier, dial async, and pass in some credentials for it to use. Test user. Now then, I also want to know what's happening with the dollar while the connection is in progress. So I'm going to add a text box to our form. and set the multi-line property to true for this, and also uh, resize the text box made a little bit larger for us to see, and rename it to status text box. Now, I need to also wire up the events from the RAS dialer, and I'm going to use the state changed event. This event is raised whenever the state for the connection attempt changes. So this status text box, append text, String format. There's my format string there. And I'm going to pass in the state for the connection. And back to my form, I also want to receive notifications for the dial completed event. This event is used whenever the dial async call has been completed. So if 
e dot cancel append text canceled otherwise if there was a timeout problem append text connection attempt timed out or if there's an error we want you to know what that happened with that as well append text and we're going to pass in the error message And that's it. We'll go ahead and run that. And you can see my network connections window that the connection does not exist yet. So we'll go ahead and create the entry. We'll go ahead and dial it. This demonstration was how to create a new entry, add it to a phone book, and then dial that new entry. My name is Jeff Wynn, and I'm the coordinator for the .rise project on CodeFlex.com. Thank you for watching.